Give me one second so I can send an invite over to my good friend, Mermaid Masterpieces. And we will see if she joins us. Hello, hello. Hi, S. Dugan 10, how are you? First time watching an Instagram live. Hello from Rhode Island. Hello. You love my hair, Bailey? Thank you. I'll make sure to speak loudly. I'm not going to be doing a lot of the speaking. Our guest will. Um, but as you can see, this is my little setup right here. I have my painting that I will be doing. I've got some watercolors up here, some acrylic paints, some other things you might need. Black Sharpies or markers, uh, preferably if you're a kid, don't use a Sharpie. Please use a marker, uh, something washable. Uh, a cup with some water and some paint brushes. Becky will go over all of this stuff once she is here. And I see she has just joined. Oh my gosh, I'm left. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm flipping myself around. I'm, I'm good, thank you. Hi. Hello. It's so, so good I, to be here. I'm pumped. This is so exciting. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm not a painter. And you're going to paint with me? You're painting with me today, Josh? I am. I have a nice little, I, uh, a nice little setup right here. Uh, so, people, so people can see my work in progress um, and I love it as well. So I'm super. I love fun. it. I love it. Perfect. So right. I've been getting um, bombarded with messages. What if I don't have watercolors? So I'm going to change the background a little bit. So we just need acrylics. Is that all right? Last second change. That sounds good to me. I know I. It's going to be even more exciting. I don't have. I got all of this stuff at home. Everything I have was just what I found around the house. Okay, cool. So, well, you know what? I think all of us can just improvise and we'll just use what we have at home, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Perfect. All right. I think most people have thick paints. Um, so we'll just aim for the thick paints. And then if you don't, you know, if you don't have thick paints, use your watercolor. It doesn't matter because we're just going to have fun and do art today, right? Yeah. Going to be super, super fun. Um, all right. I love it. So I know I, w I jumped into your uh, your Facebook Live the other day just to see how you kind of run things. Um, uh -huh. I have a little intro to I just read off, and then I'm going to hand things over to you, and you're going to take it away, all right? I love it. That sounds good to me. All right. Just I'm so ready when you are. All right. Just give me one second. Just getting everything ready. And just for the record, at some point, my cat will probably try and jump on the table and ruin my painting. So we're just going to hope he that doesn't happen. He just wants to paint with you. Yeah, he right? wants to paint. Hey, we all have to adapt, right? Oh, yes. All right. So good morning. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at Budsies. Uh, if you did not uh, hear me already, my name is Josh. I'm the social media manager for Budsies, um, also for uh, Petsies as well. Um, as we all kind of continue to practice social distancing, uh, our goal here at Budsies is to provide some boredom busters, is what we're calling it, for, uh, for you and your kids um, and anyone watching, open to all ages. Um, so each weekday, we're going to be coming here live to provide free art classes like we have today with Becky. Her Instagram handle is at Mermaid Masterpieces, and she also holds these on her own personal Facebook Live on Mermaid Masterpieces as well, correct? Yes, correct. Yes. Um, so we have um, art classes, dance classes, uh, educational field trips, readings, so many things planned, you know, just to keep everybody busy. Uh, make sure you stay for the entire class today, uh, because at the end, you'll find out how you can win a $25 Budsies gift card. So also very exciting. 
And without further ado, I think everybody can go ahead and grab their stuff, get set up, and we will get rolling. So good morning, Becky. It is all yours. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Give me some hearts if you guys are excited to start painting. Can you guys even do that on Instagram? We, I'm have, so excited to be here. Hearts on the side, and we can do okay. like, wave your heart and hearts side. and all of that. A little different from Facebook. All right. Well, thank you. I love that. Does everyone have two brushes? We need a big brush and a little brush. And last second changes, I made it so that you really only need thick paint. We're going to do white, black, gold, red, yellow, and blue. But if you don't have those colors, it does not even matter because we can just improvise and just have fun. Use what you have, okay, my friends? Again, as Josh said, I'm doing these live paint parties every day on my Facebook during the week during this um, while we're staying home. And that's at Mermaid Masterpieces on Facebook. That's M-A-S-T-E-R-P-I-E-C-E-S. -E -E now, if you have... If you ever want to know a little piece of business advice, if you start your own business when you grow up, make it a short name that's easy to spell. Because I get confused when I spell my name sometimes. It's all right. All right, are you guys ready to get started? All right, take your big brush. Let me see it. Point it at me. Let's see. Is this one big take enough? Take your little brush. Point that at me, too. Hold on. All right, click them together. Tap your head with it. Tap it together as fast as you can 100 times. Ready? Set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred. Are you guys ready to get started? Because I am. Are so you? Excited. You ready to get started? Come on, are you ready? All right, so let's take our big brush, okay? We're going to take a glob of white paint, and we're going to color our whole entire canvas white, okay? So we're just going to practice doing long brush strokes all the way from one end to the other. doesn't really matter too much with this painting, but when you come to paint with, paint with me at other parties, you know, we like to practice doing long brush strokes, nice and careful. Make it a little bit, little bit blobby because we want it to be a little thick. See how it's a little globby? Yeah, you guys, go ahead. Don't be cheap with that white paint. You got this. All right? I'm grab a little bit bigger brush so that I can get some bigger strokes in. <laughs> okay, go for it. You having fun, Josh? I am. I have not painted in a while, so this is very exciting for me. I'm, listen, I'm very excited, too. I haven't painted in a while, either. I haven't painted since uh, 7 o'clock last night. <laughs> you, you were actually <laughs> outside painting last night. I was, because I knew it was going to rain out today. It's wicked rainy today in Newport, Rhode Island, and it's, ah. So, I thought I'd enjoy it. We had really, well, last night it wasn't sunny, but it was 45 degrees out, so I thought I'd be outside. Is that crazy? How warm is it where you are? Um probably if not 78 82 ish oh my <laughs> god i'm so jealous i'm down here in um south florida actually but i originally am from new england so oh, really? i know the struggle i know it a lot whoops i have white paint on my shirt already my friends be careful with getting paint on the floor on your clothes um on your body, that's how I got all my tattoos. <laughs> that's not how I got them. I'm just joking with you. Okay. All I've right. Got, I've got all my how tattoos. How we doing? We all have our. We all have the white background. All right. Let's go to the next step. But first, let's make sure we're holding our big cup with one hand. Okay. Hold your big uh, your big cup. Everyone's got the same size cup. Hold your cup with water with one hand on the table, and we're gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. All right, make sure we're being safe with these cups. We don't want to spill water. Josh's cup's in the air. It is. My camera just did a little, did a little flip. That's it. You got to hold it on the table so we don't accidentally spill. Right. All right, so then we'll squeeze the extra water back into the cup. I don't use napkins because you know what happens? You end up getting the wet paint on the napkin, and then it falls down your shirt and on the floor, and then you get wet paint on the floor. So I just skip the napkins altogether. So the way I teach you, you don't need napkins. Sound good? I like it. Good. All right, so let's take our little brushes, all right? And we're going to take a glob of red paint. Are you ready? And we're going to do something so fun. We're just going to do red polka dots everywhere on our canvas. You can do as many or as few as you want. I recommend approximately 23, 24 red dots, okay? As many as you want, and you don't even have to be too careful about it. 
And I'm joking about 23 or 24. You can do as many as you want. Mm -hmm. This is your masterpiece. All right? Adults, we're letting the kids do their own paintings, right? They got this. I promise. I do this every day. These kids are awesome artists. How are you kids feeling? Good? You guys feeling good? You got to tell me. We need those, those Parents, hearts. We, you're making hearts? I love that. That's cute. All right. Now that we've all got a bunch of red polka dots, let's go to the next step. You don't need to clean your brush because I'm kind of a scrub, so I don't clean my brush a lot. Just saying. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a glob of yellow paint now. And we're going to do a bunch of yellow polka dots. And we're going to do these all over our canvases. Okay, so keep telling, taking globs of yellow. And we're going to do them all over the canvas. All right. And I'm sorry to those of you who scrambled together and got watercolors. You guys can use them for a million other projects, all right? I just felt bad because I was getting a lot of messages, people saying, what if I don't have watercolors? What if I don't have watercolors? And I thought, well, why don't we just all do the same thing, right? Right. I love this. How are you guys doing? You guys feeling good? Oh, I love this. This is fun, isn't it? It's a good way to spend a rainy day in New England, isn't it? I don't know about a nice sunny day in Florida. Is it sunny down there at least? It is. It's, it's uh, not the sunniest, but it'll do. Well, it's pouring here. Oh, no. Which is, you know what? I'm not going to complain because it is March and it could very well be snowing. So let me not complain, right? <laughs> okay. So once we've got all our red and yellow polka dots, I do understand it looks like ketchup and mustard. Don't eat it. It's not good. It's not good. You can't eat it. It makes you sick. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our big brush. We're going to take gloves of blue. No, that's not your big brush. That's your little brush. Did you guys correct me at home? I hope you did. All right. So take your little brush. We're going to take gloves of blue this time. All right. Who's feeling proud so far with all your polka dots? I am. I think. I hope this, you are. This is going to be the best my painting looks right now. You better cut it out, Josh. We only have positive attitudes. I love it. All right. This is, I'm glad you said that, kids. Make sure that while you're home, if you don't love your painting, that just means you got to keep working on it, okay? Because this is going to come out as epic as you want it to be. You just got to keep working. And then if you feel like there's no, there's no saving your painting. You just got to start over and watch this video again. It'll be up for 24 hours. All right. Or you no, can watch it on my we're Facebook. Going to be posting it on yeah. our Facebook as well, a live, a rebroadcast. So if you're not yes. watching it live here, you can watch it again on Facebook. On Budsies or Mermaid Masterpieces, because we'll both have it. All right. Keep taking that blue. All right. And we're totally done. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm full of jokes. I'm pretty hilarious, aren't I? I know you guys think I'm funny. I'm pretty much the funniest person I know. Are you guys funny? I love it. All right. Take your little brush. Now that we've got all these colors, my best friend's on. Hey, Gretchen. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little brush. Now, you don't have to add any more paint with this, okay? Let me bring this a little closer so you can see. What we're going to do is we're going to do... Big swirly swirl using the colors on the canvas. And we're just going to swirl all the way around. Keep doing circles that are smaller all the way up against the, the last circle. Okay? So it's like a big spiral. Okay? This is like outer space air. Right? And we're just going to keep doing these spirals all over the place. All right? Oh, keep picking a different spot. We're going to do the whole background like this. Okay? So keep... You'll just do a big circle, 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 and it's just going to get a little smaller, smaller, smaller. Now take your time because we want these to look really good so I can sell them for a lot of money because I need to go on a trip to Disney World. <laughs> All right? I'm just kidding. Guys, I'm full of jokes. That's my that's my second favorite joke. You picking up what I'm painting down? <laughs> we love jokes my here. Favorite joke. <laughs> All right, guys. We're just doing these swirl, swirl, swirls. Okay? All over the whole, we're covering the whole canvas like this. Now, you can even overlap them, too. I think when you overlap them with, like, smaller ones, using the paint from the previous swirls, it looks super cool. Looks super curl. <laughs> All right, so just keep doing these swirly swirls all over the place. Josh, how you doing? Wow, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. 
I'm taking my time. I see that. It's beautiful. How much are you going to sell your painting for, Josh? A million dollars. Ooh, you're going to have a lot left over since you're already close to Disney World. You don't have <laughs> to right. sell it for a ton of money to go down there. I love it. All right. I love that you guys are all doing your art at 10 a.m. This is a great time to do art. Actually, any time is a great time to do art. True. As long as you're not supposed to be in bed or doing homework, I guess. This could be homework, though. Right? Hey. I think this is the most fun homework. Well, art was always the best homework I was at. I, does that make any sense? Art was always my best subject. So if I had to do art homework, I always did my best. My favorite. It's still my favorite. That's why this is my job. Guys, can you believe this is my job? This is what I do to go to work. I teach people how to paint like this. And I'm going to start doing these live videos all the time because I love them. Super fun. I've already done, this is my seventh live paint party since Monday. All of my swirls are looking a little gray, but that's fine. You gotta keep keep going. Don't overwork them. Just keep. See how mine are layering upon layer. You gotta just keep layering them, okay? You you are so experienced and so good at your craft. I well, I'm you. just I'm very swirly, swirly. So it's just you know I'm good at it. I'm made out of glitter, so these swirls come natural to me. So you're just gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. If you want to change it up a little bit, you can always kind of start in the middle and just kind of work your way out if that's a little bit easier for you, okay? You guys are all doing awesome. I can totally tell. Let me see your paintings at home. I can't really see them. I'm just kidding. I wish I could, though. Guys, make sure we're taking pictures during this paint party and send them into Budsies and to Mermaid Masterpieces because I certainly will post them. All right, yes. so send me pictures of this paint party that you want to post, all right? Send them to me and or Budsies, okay? And I'll send them to them, or, and they can send them to me, whatever pictures you get, okay? Because these are going to be awesome. Josh, you're doing good. Keep going, buddy. I'm trying. Uh, Keep going. You've got this. I love the positivity and the encouragement. That's all that we're about here at Budsies. Well, that's how I roll. That's, that's like, I feel like 95% of my job being encouraging. That's just what happens. I don't know. Yours is coming out so good. I love that. That makes me so happy. Let's see. You, you can't see everybody else's, but you can see mine. And after after, we hope that you guys will post and tag us in all of your beautiful paintings because Oops. I want to see I want to see what you guys did as well. I think everybody has a different interpretation and I just love that. That's that's the best part of art. So as Josh said, this is your own masterpiece. It's going to come out completely different than mine. It's going to come out completely different than Josh's. See how Josh's is so different than mine? It's because we're all different artists and we're all unique and that's what makes the world go round, right? So it's good that yours is different than mine and it's different than Josh's and it's different than the person next to you because that's how it's supposed to be. So keep doing your painting, all right? You guys are all doing awesome. At this point, you should be getting close to filling up your whole background. I don't know where Josh is with this. Josh is, Josh is catching up. He's doing really well. Make sure you do a big swirly swirl above that, Josh. See, all right, I'm seeing what you're doing. Ready, Josh? Look at mine for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to just do one swirly swirl and then it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. You're, you're kind of like rubbing it back and forth. Filling just wanna just do it in. once. Do it yeah, like don't go stroke. Yep, don't go over it again. Just swirl, 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 and then move on to the next. All right? Swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm not, I'm not the best at swirling, but you're we're doing trying. a really nice job. We're trying. You're doing great. Don't I'm even worry about it. I'm also standing in like the most awkward position right now, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. All right, guys, we're going to take a, another minute for these swirly swirls. You guys are doing really good. How's everyone feeling at home? Good? All right. 
Now, like I said, we're going to do another minute of this. But if you don't finish your swirly swirls, you can always come back to them, okay? I'm going to come back not... to the swirls, guys. I'm going to come back to them. I promise. Can I show you guys my budsies while Josh is making his last two swirly swirls that he has? I would love it if I could have a few more seconds of swirling and you can okay. kind of explain All right. how we are so, that. First, I'm going to show you. All right, so this is my book, Meet Little Bexta. i got to have a little shameless plug. You know I can't. This is Meet Little Bex, so it's about a little mermaid in Newport, Rhode Island. And I made a mermaid. Well, there's a, uh, hold on, let's see. There, it's about a little Bex, a uh, little mermaid and her family. So this is her family. That's little Bex, her dad, her mom, her Nana, and her grandpa. Her grandpa's name is Inky. And my Nana asked me, for Christmas if she could have Inky back because he passed away six years ago. So I discovered Budsies and I decided that I would make her an Inky stuffed Budsie. How cute is he? You want to see him next to the original picture? Look at that. They're like identical twins. Can you believe it? Amazing. These are my, this is my own Budsie. Well, all right, it's my Nana's. She's sharing with me. How's everyone doing with that? Ooh, Josh, I like those swirly swirls. We got we got bigger and better. I think those I are think cool. I like those. Now. I like those. All right. Are we ready for the next step, my friends? Oh, hold on. I'm just fixing. All right. Are we ready for the next step? Wow, I love, I love it. All right. So first what we're gonna do. Let's clean off our little brushes, all right? So we're holding our little our cup with one hand and our little brush with the other hand on the table, please. Uh, mine's on bro, the bro, table, bro. I promise. Okay. Uh, there goes my cat. <laughs> you could let the cat walk across it and then put another canvas and let the cat paint. Aww. That Is that dangerous? I feel like that. you have to make sure it's, like, non-toxic so the cat's okay and everything, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't really do that. <laughs> Some people, you never know. All right, so we're squeezing the extra water back into the cup, my friends, okay? Now, let's just really quick. Amber's gonna you know what? For a second. Let's Hold let on. this dry for a minute. While it's drying, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip our little brush over. We're going to use the wooden tip, and we're going to dunk it in white, all right? And we're going to do white stars all over the place. Now, let me not say all over the place. You might only want to do, like, 15, all right? Because... You don't want it to be too over starry because in a little while we're going to add planets and stuff too, all right? So we want to, I always feel like less is more for stars, all right? You guys are doing awesome. If you want to add a few gold stars, you can do that too. You don't even need to clean your tip. Just dip it in gold, all right? Just add a couple little gold stars. You guys are doing awesome. How are your paintings? Are they drying up quick? I know if you're in Rhode Island or New England, it's a little humid. So actually, it's probably 100% humidity. So your painting's probably taking a few minutes to dry. So if you want, you can just kind of go. Ready? Ready? Just blow on it like that. Don't let the, don't let the uh, paint splatter. Just kind of. Go ahead. I'm cooling myself off, too, with this. It's That's what warming. I need to be doing since it's so hot down here. Are you? Oh, God, I can't even. You know what? If I lived down there, I'd be outside every single day. So fun. I have family down there. Actually, you guys are fuzzies. I Googled you. You're in Boynton Beach, right? Correct. The company? Yes. That's where, my our, cousin main, that's where our main in, facility is. My cousin lives in Boynton Beach. Wow. So fun. I, and actually, this is a very strange fact. There's a lot of Newporters that live there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I know about 10 people that live there, oddly I enough. I, I love it down here. Beautiful, I, I though, right? I don't, I don't want to go back to New England. No offense, New Englanders, but I spent a lot of time there. So hey, I'm for a new you know what? We're meant to travel and enjoy, right? Yes, I agree. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we all have our stars and we've got our swirly swirl backgrounds, we're going to do the main attraction. Are you guys ready? So we're going to take our little brush, okay?
It should be clean and dry. And we're gonna take some white and we're gonna do an almond shape. Okay, you guys know what an almond is, correct? Okay. Sorry, my oh, camera's my camera's acting a little funky. <laughs> okay. All right, so we now all have this almond shape, right? Now, you might notice that the colors from the background are picking up into your almond shape, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use our big brush to color it in. So go back to your big brush, and we're going to take globs of white. This is going to be a little nuts, but it's going to be really cool, okay? We're going to take globs of white, and we're just going to kind of put it, place it into the almond shape. We're going to color it in white, okay? But see how I'm just kind of taking... De globs of white and just kind of dabbing it in. I didn't, I'm not a classically uh, trained artist. That's why I use words like dabs and globs and smear. However, it works best for you guys because you know what I'm talking about, right? Right. I do. <laughs> right. Well, both my grandfathers were artists, so it's just in my blood. I just learned when I, I just came out knowing these things. I don't know. So you're going to take another glob. Just gonna keep dabbing. I hope you guys are having fun at home. I am. This is awesome. So honored to be painting with Budsies. It's an Make honor sure. to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure that if you guys are having fun, tune in because I will be Facebook Live today at 1 p.m., tonight at 1 p.m. This is Eastern time. And then tomorrow I'll be live 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. And then an adults-only party at 9.30 p.m. Just so the adults can relax. Because you kids, you know, they, they've been painting with you all week. They want a little time after you go to bed. So adults will have, you know, it's just, we're going to do an anchor tomorrow night. So we're all going to have fun. And then we'll be doing the same schedule next week, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. every day Eastern. All right, starting Monday. You should add a constellation, whatever you want. This is your masterpiece, okay? It's funny that I just um, put two and two together. I didn't even think of this, but my Inky Budsy, the one Budsy I have, um, my Inky was a navigator in the Navy for 27 years. And so he... Wow led ships around using constellations and like the stars so it's really i didn't even think it's ironic because he was an artist and he taught me all this stuff so i just realized that all right we should all have our rocket ship painted and colored in how we doing my friends well our almond shape i don't know if i told you it was the rocket ship yet look at that josh that's nice Tr listen once you add the rest of your swirly swirls in the background that is gonna look Amazing. I, I am so proud of that. I will post something to, uh, to uh, Budsies for people to see my final, uh, my final Perfect. Painting. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You guys are doing awesome. You're making me so happy and so proud. Are you guys feeling proud at home? I'm feeling proud. I hope you are too. All right. So we're going to take our big brush and our little brush. We're going to hold our cup and one hand on the table. Make sure. And we're going to swirl, swirl, swirl. We're going to paint the bottom of the cup. Someone just taught me that the other day, and I've been painting my whole life. I can't believe no one's ever said that to me before. <laughs> so we're going to paint the bottom of the cup. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Nice and careful. All right, and then we're going to squeeze the extra water back into the cup, okay? All right, so now we're going to take our little brush that's clean and semi-dry. Again, I don't use napkins because the wet paint gets on them and it falls on the floor and then it's disaster because wet paint is on the floor. So we're going to take our big brush. Oh, that's not your big brush. You're going to take your little brush. Sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a triangle at the top of our almond shape. And one side of the triangle is going to be a smiley face. All right? Instead of just a straight line, we're just going to use a, we're going to do a smiley face. And then we're going to just kind of dab black paint into that triangle. All right? You guys are doing really good. 
parents, are you painting too, or you, did you just set the kids up? Because adults love these too. I'm not trying to brag, but you know I have a Best of Rhode Island award for my ladies' nights. So I also have a few Best of Newport awards too. Wow. I'm not bragging, just saying. It's very <laughs> fun. It's a humble We're brag. having a good time. Josh, how you feeling? I'm feeling like it's coming along, you know? I'm proud of myself for getting out here and doing something new and something that I don't normally do. I think that's I have awesome. to say, it takes a lot to go on film and have people watch you when you're not used to painting. I think that I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Cool. Very go. nice. All right, my friends. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit more black. And we're gonna make a frowny face at the end of your almond shape, just like that. And then there's gonna be a frowny face right under it. And this is basically gonna make a long curvy triangle. Okay, so we're gonna color that little long curvy triangle in. You guys are doing so good. So proud of you. There you go, Josh. Okay. All right, now on the other side, we're gonna do a smiley face, okay? And then a smiley face right next to it. And again, it's gonna connect at the end and it's gonna be a long curvy triangle. You guys are doing it. You are awesome. Who's feeling awesome right now? I'm feeling awesome. Everything I'm feeling is awesome. awesome. Good. I love that. This is fun. I literally, listen, I could do live paint parties from home every single day, like twice a day. This is, and I have been, this is so fun to me. Yesterday, did you, you saw that I was down at the beach yesterday, right? Yep. I'm just going to start picking random places and just going live and painting. Why not? I think you should. Like, I think it's great. I love it so much. So fun. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, how we doing, my friends? Uh, are we starting to see something? Are we starting to see a rocket ship? We're almost there. All right, so let's clean off our little brushes, please. Make sure, again, what are we doing? Hold on a couple of one hand on the table. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Yes, exactly. Wait, you, you guys just see me I'm doing it right this time. I only have one hand, but I'm trying my hardest. Are you holding your phone this entire time? Um, so my stand stopped working halfway through. And oh, I don't know no. how to fix it. So I've just been holding the camera, but it's okay. That's tough. It's, this right, is, this is the essence of DIY at home. You know, you don't need the best it's, equipment. You can you no. know, have fun. You have to improvise. Exactly. And just have a good time, right? Exactly. So we're going to squeeze the extra water back into the cup, please, from our little brush. I actually, um, <laughs> just to be honest, when I first started these live videos, I was using my Christmas tree because you know how Christmas trees can bend like the, you know, each little branch be is bendy. Mm -hmm. I used it, wrapped it around my phone and like put it in place. And I actually have, um, because I'm recording with another phone and I have that one in the Christmas tree right now. But this one that I'm using for you guys, my friend Holly, let me buy her. She has one of those um, ring lights with a little phone holder inside of it. I need one and it's of those. Magical. You need to get one. It's magic. I'm like, it's so easy. I think and the that lighting, that's my next purchase. The lighting spectacular. I look gorgeous in this lighting. So mm, you do I look love gorgeous. it. Thank you. So do you. All yeah. right. Are we ready for the next step, my friends? We're wrapping it up. We're almost done. So we're going to take a little bit of gold. All right, and we're gonna do a gold smiley face, just a little bit above that black triangle's bottom, okay? Just a little gold smiley face. Now, you might pick up a little bit of black with you. That's okay. You can go back over this after with um, thicker gold. Now, if you don't have gold, use whatever color you want, because you know why? This is your masterpiece. You could do it with blue, red, yellow, rainbow, whatever you want because this is your thing, all right? I'm just telling you what I'm doing and then you can add whatever you'd like to it. Okay, once we've all got that gold smiley face, 
We're going to take a little bit of gold and we're going to do a little dot right kind of right under there, right in the middle. That's the first window. These astronauts need to be able to see space, right? Right. Okay, then we'll take a little bit more gold and we'll do a little bit of a bigger circle here, just a little bit down. Okay, right in the in the center. I'm aiming for the center, but as you can see, I'm painting from behind, so it does get a little confusing. I can see now. It's funny because when I, you know, I paint a lot for work. I, I always paint on the canvas from behind teaching. And when I actually am painting for fun, it's almost like I prefer to paint from the side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I do this so much. I'm, this is how I'm used to painting now. Um, so when I'm standing in front of an easel, it almost feels funny. So we're going to color that gold circle. And you're going to just want to dab some gold because that white is really thick. Okay, right, and then we'll take a little bit more gold and we'll do an even bigger circle. All right, you're going to need a lot of gold to just kind of go over this white. All right, you're picking up what I'm painting down. It's my favorite joke. I think it's I hilarious. I love that saying so much. I think that's so funny. <laughs> I need to coin it. I don't, I said it a couple years ago and it stuck. I've been doing, so I've been in business for five years and one month. Um, I do paint parties at libraries all over Rhode Island, and I've expanded to southern or central Massachusetts. Um, I do all sorts of college parties, fundraisers, birthday parties. I do birthday parties every single weekend. But now I'm realizing I can do live birthday parties to someone in, like, Minnesota. You know, I can do this because I'm seeing how much fun this is like oh, yeah. and I'm getting a lot of photos of entire families I got a, a picture of like eight people painting together watching me on the TV yesterday oh and I was like that's magical so, I love um, it when did when did that actually start when did the paint party just officially kind of when was what was your inspiration I guess <laughs> okay so I, I actually have chronic Lyme disease I was very sick for a long time I'm sure you know plenty of people with it being from Connecticut um while I'm halfway through the story, I'm just going to quickly say, let's take a little bit of gold and we're going to make fire coming out of the bottom of our um, rocket ship. So I have chronic Lyme disease. And actually, Enki, the one who I made the Budsy for, he got really sick. And I was like, wow, I don't want him to pass away being like scared that I'm not going to be okay. Because I was really sick for about 15 years with Lyme disease. I couldn't hold a job or anything. So I was always so sick. Well, I started taking better care of myself and really, you know, trying to improve my life. And when he passed away, I got all his art supplies and I started painting all the time. And I thought, well, let me apply for a job at one of those paint party businesses. Now, this is after not working for years because I was too sick. And right. so I got a job immediately, of course. I've got a great personality, and I'm a good artist. True. Um, and so I, I trained with them twice, and I taught with another company twice, and I was like, this isn't for me. I wasn't ready, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it on my own and do it how I want to do it. So I started Mermaid Masterpieces February 16th, 2015, and um, it's just taken off from there. It's been really it's been a wild, wild ride. And guess what? My very first paint party I ever taught ever was on my grandpa's one year anniversary. Oh. It was it was meant to be, and it he ties was everything he together. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's crazy that I'm teaching outer space right now because he was very into the sky, yeah. um, and he was an art teacher. So after he got out of the navy, he taught art all over Newport and uh, Rhode Island. So it's pretty cool. I love it, I love it. and I, I love you know Thank just you. what you do and what you've been you know Thank providing you. people during these times. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, you know what? I'm going to take a little yellow, and I'm going to add yellow to my flame coming out of the end of the rocket ship. Just kind of go for it. You can take a little red. I'm going to put some red in mine. Add some red. And then if you want, which I think, you know, we all should, take a little red, mix it with yellow, because that makes what? Orange. Correct. So we're going to take a little orange, and we're going to add some orange right down there we go. Look at that. That looks cool, huh? These rockets, they need a little, this is the jet fuel, I think, 
flying out. You know, I don't know. I don't know how rockets work. I'm just <laughs> I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I just teach painting. That's all. Let me not say all, that's all because that's important too. I think it's important to you know facilitate fun for everyone. So that's what I'm here for. So at this point, my friends, we're I'm done showing you how to do the rocket ship. At this point, you guys can add maybe planets. I'm going to add, like, the red planet. Look at that. Now, your background should be pretty light because we had white under it. Josh's is um, nice and bold, which I love. But you guys can add planets however you want. I'm going to add a little bit of, like, yellow to this one. All right. I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm going to maybe make a moon. You guys can add whatever you guys want because this is, what do I keep saying? This is your masterpiece. So you can do however you want. This is your art. And that's really important for you to remember that whenever you're doing artwork, there's no wrong in art. It's always, always, always right because it's how you imagine it in your head. And can I give you a little piece of advice that I just realized um, probably just a few months ago, and I'm old. I'm 37 years old, all right? So I'm really up there compared to you guys. My whole life, I, you know, you picture something in your head that you want to draw, and you sit down and you try to do it, and then you realize, wait, that's not what it looked like in my head, and it gets frustrating, right? Because you're like, why is it not what I'm seeing in my head? How come I can't draw it myself? I'm going to tell you why, because you got to practice. I just realized at 37 that I'm finally, finally starting to picture what's in my head and able to, to paint it. So if you guys keep practicing, I bet by the time you're 12, you'll be able to do that. Okay? You just got to keep practicing, my friends, all right? And make sure you like me on Mermaid Masterpieces on Facebook and on Instagram, all right? I've had so much fun with you guys today. Yes, this has been an absolute blast. You know, I'm going to continue you. to fill in, fill in my like background a, as well. A rocket blast. A rocket blast. Love it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to show you one more thing with the moon. I, like I just did a moon, this, this white, big white guy over here. You guys know what the moon looks like, obviously. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of gold and do some gold polka dots in it, just like three or four. And then, I'm sorry, parents and guardians, but kids, put your brush down, you'll take your, your finger, and you just kind of dab that around a little bit, and it helps you make craters. All right, I think that looks pretty well. Mine kind of went away because I put so much white, but <laughs> just try that. It's a fun little thing to practice. Or you could just add a little bit more gold on top of the little things you just made. So, there's that. All right. All right. Well, I'm all done telling you guys what this is. And I just want to thank you guys so much for painting with me today. Of um, course. This video with me might be over, but you guys can feel free to add constellations. I just added Orion's Belt, the three together, because that's the only one I ever remember exactly <laughs> how to do. Um, or the Seven Sisters, one, two, three, or five, six, seven. That's it. Right. You guys can add to whatever you want. But anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for having me. This was a total pleasure. I'm so honored. And, yeah, I hope we yeah. can do it again sometime. Becky, thank you so much for being here. For everyone else watching, um, we want to see your, uh, your painting so badly. So if you post it, tag Budsies and tag Mermaid Masterpieces. We will select yeah. one person who posted it to win a $25 Budsies gift card at random. <laughs> Um, so make sure to post those. You can post it on Instagram or Facebook. As long as you tag both of us, you'll be entered for the random drawing. And uh, I just have one more little outro to read, and then I will, we will wrap this up. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's, let me just pull this up really quick. All right. So first of all, thank you, Becky, for joining us. Um, that was a lot of fun and you know, I'm, I'm glad our drawings look different because that shows just how, how art can be interpreted. Um, so take a picture, everyone out there with your painting, post it and make sure the post is public as well. Um, 
when you tag us, we'll choose one random winner today um, around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll get this up on Facebook as well so that people can participate there. Um, and tomorrow at 10, we have an author who's going to be doing an author reading. Miss Shannon will be coming back. She'll be reading with her Budsies as well. So it's really nice that we have people, you know, part of the Budsies community and the Budsies family that we like to say, you know, joining us and people who, you know, want to help help spread the love and positivity. So thank you so much, Becky. Check our Instagram stories for more thank you. Uh, content. And we will see you soon. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you.